we have a decent probability of walking on Mars surface and on spaceships like Starship for the very first time in human history. This is due to Elon Musk's drive and determination, but how will SpaceX generate artificial gravity on the Starship and Mars? Because of gravity, you are weighed down here on the Earth. Even when you are watching this video or walking on the street, it keeps you from floating around. However, when you are in a gravity-free environment, you begin to float because you have no weight. You might imagine that having objects, including yourself, continually float around can be highly upsetting. In this case, artificial gravity can be used. When considering artificial gravity, there are many factors involved. In this video, we'll explain everything to you. The existence of humanity dates back a long time, we may be on the verge of setting foot on another planet for the first time in that amount of time, the CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, wants to improve technology, his goal is to empower human habitation and movement on other worlds. He is now developing the most technically advanced spaceship that will take humans to Mars surface, volunteers will be transported by the Starship spacecraft through the huge, dark space between Earth and Mars. However, due to the lengthy duration of the trip in deep space, SpaceX must discover a mechanism to shield the passengers from the effects of microgravity while they are traveling, as a result, SpaceX has revealed a starship with artificial gravity. But what exactly is artificial gravity? Artificial gravity is a force that simulates the effect of gravity in a spaceship, it is not caused by the attraction to the Earth but is instead caused by acceleration or centrifugal force, it provides weight to your body, weight that your bones and muscles cannot distinguish from the weight on Earth, or another planet provided on account of its sheer mass. But do we really need artificial gravity? In spacecraft that circle the Earth as well as those that are so far away that the effect of gravity or gravitation is minimal, artificial gravity is required. The consequences of weightlessness are also felt by astronauts in any spacecraft that is sufficiently far from the Earth that the influence of gravity or gravitation is insignificant. A spacecraft that is 9,000 miles from Earth experiences gravity that is around one-tenth that of the ground on Earth. But is it possible to create artificial gravity? There are many methods that exist for producing artificial gravity, the first one is mass attraction, by circling electricity, you can produce a magnetic field. Magnetism is a result of an electric current flowing, the only requirement for an astronaut would be metal boots, someone may move along the floor with the help of the magnet's attraction to the metal. There may be a limit to bone and muscle loss in space due to the effort necessary to walk against a magnet, however, being attached to the ground is not the same as gravity, the upper body would still be able to accumulate fluids and your stomach would still be incredibly confused. The second method to create artificial gravity is an O'Neill cylinder. You've experienced artificial gravity if you've ever been on a carnival attraction like the teacups that spin, you will experience a push toward the exterior wall while you are inside a massive, whirling object, this is because of inertia, the thing spinning around you is causing resistance from your body. We view inertia as a non-existent centrifugal force, we feel drawn to the outside edge of the teacup's rotating edge by this force. Inertia is what produces centrifugal force, however, if artificial gravity is all you require, this fictitious force is enough, all you need is a very huge ship rotating slowly, or a very small ship rotating very quickly, in either case, the rotation would draw the subject's feet first to the exterior wall. Compared to magnets, this is better because the entire body would experience the effect, the body would function with the same flow of blood and liquids as it does on Earth, walking or running would exert a pull on the bones and muscles. An O'Neill cylinder is a big variation of this technique. The cylinders are called the O'Neill cylinders in honor of the scientist Gerard O'Neill, who created the concept, these enormous revolving cylinders would revolve counterclockwise as a pair while facing the sun, they'd be held in place by those opposing spins, O'Neill cylinders, unfortunately are far too huge for most purposes smaller than space colonies. The third method is a rotating device that could fit into spacecraft rooms, this is a recommendation from researchers at the University of Boulder in Colorado. Space travelers may retreat to a certain area and spend some time experiencing a gravitational environment more like that of Earth, even if this wouldn't supply artificial gravity for the entire craft or station. A short radius centrifuge with astronauts lying down on it is used to simulate a gravitational field of 1g, the same as that on Earth. So, can a spacecraft be built with artificial gravity? Thankfully, the answer is yes. Even though each method to create artificial gravity has benefits and drawbacks, it is possible. Musk states that SpaceX has considered turning entire starships into all-in-one orbital observatories that are orders of magnitude more powerful than Hubble, 
as well as joining them together in space to create a kind of artificial gravity for travelers on lengthy interplanetary voyages. Since SpaceX's initial Starship proposal in 2016, the idea of artificial gravity has gained traction among fans, aside from a single halting test carried out on a Gemini mission in the 1960s, no serious experimental attempts have ever been made, despite decades of sporadic study by NASA and other universities. The notion of using two ships in a rotating arrangement has been around for a while, in fact, the concept has been in the air since 2016 when SpaceX originally revealed the Starship, many people believe it to be the most likely safe and efficient method of delivering artificial gravity, it appears to obey fundamental physics and to be the quickest approach to achieve the outcomes Elon Musk and SpaceX desire. Elon Musk is aware of how difficult this task will be, and he is probably also aware that it might not work as well as some people think it will, mainly because it is the only viable option that SpaceX has at the moment. However, when you consider the variables and the cost, you can begin to see why Musk might be a little hesitant to go this route. Starship is an expensive vehicle, and a great deal of work goes into making this wonder of contemporary science. However, the idea of connecting two starships is currently the cleverest strategy SpaceX has for creating artificial gravity, and as we said, it is something that is desperately needed as Musk and his team develop new vehicles and vessels to take humanity farther than it has ever gone. Now, SpaceX will need two for every long and complex journey, which will undoubtedly not be cheap. So, artificial gravity is a possibility, the human body's response to artificial gravity is the sole issue, the main idea behind the new spacecraft is to combine two starships and create artificial gravity by spinning them around the tether's core. Do you think Musk will be able to create an artificial gravity starship? Let us know in the comments. If you watched all the way to the end, then don't forget to like and subscribe.